Guys, I know it took so long for me to upload this video, but I've been super busy. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm so excited for you guys to see my results. And yeah, talk to you soon. Good morning, you guys. And I'm saying good morning because I'm just waking up, as you can tell from my face. So today is weigh-in and I'm so excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but I have to remember I can't be disappointed. If I lost five pounds, I lost five pounds. If I lost four pounds, I lost four pounds. I'm happy with whatever, but I feel great. That's all that matters. Okay, hey so I'm back with another video and I'm gonna talk to you guys about days seven through 12 of the detox and I'm finally done. Well, tonight I'm gonna be done, but it's day 12, we made it. And I'm so happy it's done and over with. And I, I did it. I did it. I did it. So kudos to me. And um, I want to talk to you about day 7 through 12. Now, day 7, everything's been good ever since. I haven't I have had any headaches. Nothing like that. Um, they, the smoothies, they just tasted the same from say seven, eight, and nine. I think they all just tasted exactly the same. There was really nothing, like they literally tasted the same. Even though they were different fruits, it was so weird. They all tasted the same. So that was that. Um, I still had my snacks, I had my smoothies. I worked out at home if I didn't make it to the gym, um, which last week I had a busy week. So I mean, this week I had a busy week, so. Uh, yeah, I didn't make it to the gym, minus today. I finally went to the gym today. You know, that's a run on. I did cardio and um, I weighed myself. And yeah, uh, I've been pretty much energized. I haven't been feeling like sleepy or anything. Yeah, I haven't had any headaches or anything. I haven't been feeling lightheaded. God <laughs> <laughs> bless me. And yeah, I mean, it's been, it's, you kind of got used, I kind of got used to it after day six. It was like part of my routine. So I'm kind of used to it. So I'm kind of like freaking out how I'm going to do it Saturday and Sunday because I'm already done following the routine. But you still have to drink a smoothie for like the first seven days. She like walks you back into bringing food into your life. Because if you go right back into eating the way you wait, you did all that work for no reason. So it would be for no reason so she just takes you like through steps like um days one and two you still have a breakfast smoothie a lunch smoothie then you have your last smoothie for a snack and then you eat a salad or a soup girl she said a soup i'm like <laughs> so i'm definitely gonna eat the salad um but obviously you can't use it with ranch or like blue cheese or whatever you guys like to eat it with but uh you get to eat chicken you can get a salad so that's nice and then day three and four you can eat um you know you still make the three smoothies but then you have it for you have food for lunch something light and then the same thing for dinner something light and she she says either um a soup or a salad both those days like day seven and eight i guess it's like when you finally get back into you know your routine that you have or whatever and yeah, so, I mean, I feel good. I feel great. Um, so, let's cut to the chase, right? We all want to know how much weight I lost, right? So, I ended up losing four and a half pounds. Now, that is not what I wanted to lose. I wanted to lose more, but I can't discriminate myself because I lost four and a half pounds in two weeks. Two weeks. That's really good because I have gained eight pounds every month each month i gained a pound so i lost a pound like four months a pound not four months but you know like that's how i see it oh you know i could have been working out for four months and i only lost you know a pound each month each each month each month i lost a pound in two weeks i lost four and a half pounds that's amazing to me like that that's like i mean like i said i wish i would have lost my eight you know i was kind of like ugh, bummed out but then again it's like i can't be too hard on myself because 
it's hard just to lose one pound. So I lost four pounds, four and a half pounds. So I'm I'm happy with that. And I'm I'm excited because it's getting me started. I got four more pounds to go and I can do it. I was thinking about doing the smoothie thing again, but since it is so hard, it's not that it's so hard, but I think since I already lost four, I can do the four. I just gotta really watch what I eat. Same thing, no bread, no chips, no nothing. I just gotta be real consistent and really focus on what I put in my mouth because the second I don't, I know I'm gonna go right back to gaining that weight. I was 132.6 when I started. That's the heaviest that I've been. Well, minus when I get pregnant with my babies. But that's the heaviest that I've been. And I was like, damn girl, like that, that's a lot. Because when I was doing another gym and I was going there, I had lost like five, six pounds. I was at my lowest come like December, January, like eight months ago, I was at my lowest that I have ever been since I had my son. And I was like, dang, so I, you know, I really let myself go. But I mean, that's okay, like I'm a little thicker now. You know, <laughs> you know I got some more meat on my legs, like on my thighs, you know, they actually simmed down a lot. But I have a lot of muscle in my thighs. But anyways, what am I talking about that for? Anyway, so yeah, I was one, no, 132.6 and now I am 128.2. So like I said, I lost four pounds and a half. So that's really good for me. My cousin, she lost six pounds in two weeks. I am so proud of her. Like, you got her out, you did it, girl. You did it. I'm so happy for her. She lost six pounds. Like, that's amazing. That is amazing. I mean, I'm happy for myself too, but I'm happy for her. Girl, she lost six pounds. I was like, you go, girl. You get a girl. Like, you know, every, and that just goes to show everybody's body works differently. We did the exact same thing. We did the exact same thing. I mean, maybe she worked out a little bit more than I did. But it just goes to show not everybody's body is the same. But anyways, I was super, I'm still super excited because I, I just feel it everywhere in my body that I've lost somewhere. Like my fat, my face, my arms, I feel like they slimmed down. Oh, I lost three inches from my belly fat, like my belly, my, you know, my gut. I lost three inches from that. And then I lost three inches from my, my stomach, my waist. I lost three inches in two weeks. Can you imagine three and three? If I do it again, that's six inches in one month. That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, I don't know. I might do another round, but I might not. I don't know. I'm just like, you know, it's hard. It's so hard to stay on track. It's so hard to stay fit. Like, even if you go every day, it is always on what you eat. Always. Always. And it's so hard. It's so hard when other people around you, like, okay, my family, like, they eat whatever. It's hard. Regardless, it's hard. There's no excuses. It's hard. But it's also just as hard as it is to eat right. You got to put in that work to eat right. You want to see results. And I mean, I haven't um, I haven't done my before and after picture yet. I mean, I already took my pictures, but I haven't put them together yet. So once I get that together, I'm going to still upload it anyways in this video in the end i'll show you all the pictures i'll put my weight i'll tell you how many inches i lost and yeah i mean the two weeks were good and like i said i feel amazing i feel good it was very energizing the first three days were the only days that were like you know your hardest ones but i mean if you want to do it you want to lose a couple pounds you might not lose a lot like see i only lost four and a half pounds i'm not mad at that though i'm not mad at that girl Four pounds is four and a half pounds. I mean, you guys know I was like, ooh, I hope I lost my eight. I didn't get to lose my eight, but that's okay. I can work on that on my own. And it just got me started and I can, you know, eat right, you know, be consistent on how I eat. Um, now, the thing is, when I am gonna start eating my smoothies, I have a timer for every time that I'm supposed to eat. And I think I'm gonna stick with that just because I like the time frame. And I make sure that I eat. No matter how busy I am, I make sure I eat. I really like that because there would be days where I'll eat at 2 o'clock. And then I don't eat anything all day. And then when I do finally eat, I'm stuffing my face. And then I'm stuffing my face with stuff I'm not supposed to be eating. 
So I'm gonna I am gonna stay with um the time time frame on to eating. The time that I'm supposed to eat, I'm gonna leave that the same. I don't regret doing it. I'm so happy it's over with, even though I still have a couple more days to go through with it. But like, you know, just to get back into transis transition. Is that, how you say it? Is that what I want to say? Something like that. You know what I'm talking about? But you know, I'm transitioning back into eating. So I'm excited about that. Because I finally get to eat some food. Oh my God. Do you know how hard it is not to eat for two weeks? Like it's super duper hard. But I did it. You can do it. Anybody can do it. And I, like I, like me personally, I recommend that you try it. If you want to get yourself started, you know, into, you know, winning, weaning yourself off of junk food and, you know, just get started in something. Because if you lose more than me, then you go, girl, high five to you. And it'll get you started into, you know, you want to lose weight. It'll get you started. My thing is, like, I can't believe the way my stomach looks. How, like, just the bloating is gone. Just bloating itself. I can't believe how it looks. Like, I'm, I'm going to, like I said, I haven't put my pictures together. So, I don't really know how, it, how my stomach looks. I don't see, I don't know if it changed drastically or what. But, I know I don't feel bloated. So, and I know in like a couple of pants that I've already worn, you know, I had two rolls, you know, I had my fat and then my, my pouch above, you know, your, your cuckoo that, you know, cause I, I'm a mom. So I have my mama pouch. So, you know, that's the only thing that I have left is I have a lot of loose skin and I can only assume that I have so much because how I stretched out so much with my daughter because I was big with my daughter, okay? My stomach was so big, but anyways, you know, I love being pregnant, so cute. But, you know, you can get through it. Days one and three, one through three are the hardest ones. Once you pass that, day four, and then it'll just come so fast. This week went by so fast, guys. How many knew it? It was day 12, it was today. And I was like, are you serious? Like, I have two more smoothies to drink, and that's it. It's not a big deal. You guys can do it. I so, do. yeah, that's pretty much about it. That's how my 12 days of Slim Smoothie Detox was. And I really enjoyed it. And I really recommend it. Um, and, yeah, I'm so happy I did it. And I still have to finish today. So, yay me. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below and tell me what you guys want to see next yeah bye